Hey friends, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share a video with you for the Doodlebug Design Design Team. And I'm going to use the super cute Made With Love collection and I'm just showing you some of the items that I pulled to use. And I'm also going to be using a cut file from, or a cutout from Bella Boulevard. And it is this beautiful heart background. If you are not familiar with the cutouts, um, they are cut files that are cut on this nice white thick cardstock. Comes with instructions and a template and they are awesome. If you do not have a die cutting machine or if you um, have a die cutting machine um, and you don't like to pull it out and use it, then these are perfect for you. They're also great to take to crops um, or if you're going over to a friend's to scrapbook, these are great. The price is great. Um, usually they come, you know, a nice background and some words. Um, there's either uh, three, four, or five different cut files depending on which one you pick up. So I don't use the template. I just, this is just the way that I've always done cut files. So I just take whatever pattern paper that I'm going to be using and then turn it over and then turn the cut file over and trace the inside of the cut file or the cutout. And then I just cut it out. And when I cut it out, I make sure to leave a little bit of a border that way when you go ahead and stick it down, it will adhere to the back of the cut file. And it's just the perfect fit. So I like to use a fine tip glue. I have this one that was on my desk. I'm gonna end up switching it out here in just a second and um, just add a few dots of glue around the heart. That way you could get the cutout shape adhered to the cut file. This is another adhesive that I like to use. This is the one that I'm gonna end up using. It's got a really, really fine tip on it and it works great. And then there's also glue pens that work really well for um, thinner, intricate uh, cutouts as well. So just showing you a few options that you can use. Um, so I'm gonna get this stuck down and then I'm gonna do a couple of them here on camera. And since this is a lot of cutting that I did do for this um, cutout, um, I did most of it off camera, so you'll see it here completed in just a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of them for you on camera so that you can kind of see my process. I really enjoy working with cut files and cutting up the different pattern papers and mixing and matching them on the cut file, and um, I just have a lot of fun with it. I love to showcase all of the beautiful papers in the collection together. It's just a lot of fun. So here are my hearts that I did um, off camera and I'm gonna go ahead and pull them all out so that they're all ready to go. I can just adhere them um, to the back of the cutout. And there's so many pretty colors and patterns. It's just a lot of fun. I'm gonna have some extra hearts that I cut out and that's fine. I can use them on a different project at another time. So I'm just gonna go through, add adhesive to the back of the cut file on each little heart and then pick one of the pattern paper hearts and go ahead and stick it down. The photo that I'm going to be scrapping is a photo from my daughter's birthday party that we just had. It was so much fun um, and it wasn't really a party. We just kind of celebrated her all day long and I did put this really pretty um, rainbow balloon garland and I had the 15, she turned 15 a 15 balloon for her and then I had like happy birthday balloons in the living room and it was Super Bowl as well so we also had like Super Bowl feast um, we just left it open for anyone to come if they wanted um, family they could stop by um, grab a cupcake and some treats because we had some really yummy treats that we had made for her birthday um, and just or they could just drive by and say hello or drive by and we would leave a cupcake outside whatever they wanted to do they could do um, we just left it to our our close family and that was it and um she had a lot of fun her cousins came by and her um, uncle and um it was fun so snapped a whole bunch of pictures um with that and i wanted to document this one of her and two of her cousins um they're so silly and um i printed it out in black and white because the folk my, my a wall in my kitchen is black and white so the black and white was a little much um, in the photo. So I went ahead and did it in black and white. And if you have a photo that doesn't really go with what you're scrapping, like the colors that you're scrapping with, change it to black and white, um, bump up the brightness in it, and it usually will always work. Um, or if there's a photo that might not be in focus, if you turn it to black and white, 
it always does the trick. Well, for me anyway, it just seems to fix the photo. It's not gonna fix the fuzziness. It just looks a little bit better and a little bit cleaner when you put it in black and white. So just a little trick that I do pretty often um, with my photos. So going through and um, doing a line of these hearts. I'm gonna go down to the second row and then it's gonna cut to um, the full cut cut out completely backed with all of these pretty pattern papers and I absolutely love the way that it looks. I went ahead and added foam adhesive all over the back of the cut file. This is just going to raise it up from the background, give it some dimension and height and I just really love the way that it looks popped up on the white cardstock. You could go with a pattern paper in the background if you want. For me, I really like a white background. It's just the way that I am. Um, I struggle with pattern paper backgrounds and I'm working on it and I have done better, but um, I always like a white background. So I have the photo here and I did mat it on a piece of pattern paper from the collection and I showed you that. Um, and then I'm going to pop it up on some foam and um, I'm gonna go, I pulled out some die cuts that I thought I wanted to use. Um, so we'll go through those here in just a minute. Here's my white piece of cardstock. This is from Doodlebug and it's trimmed down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna mat it here on this yellow piece of paper. You can see that I did gut the inside of it because I used it um, to back some of these hearts. So just a little trick if you wanna save paper, um, if you wanna gut the insides and use the piece that you um, cut out to back your cut files. And then you can have the outside to mat your layout on some white cardstock. So I'm gonna go through, kind of get this lined up and then add some adhesive. I do one side at a time. That way, if I don't get it lined up, I only have half of it to peel back up. Um, so I'll get the adhesive down on one side, uh, flip it around, and then do the other side. Just a lot easier instead of adding all the adhesive, adhesive all the way around. And if I don't get it lined up where I like it, <laughs> peeling up the whole piece is kind of a pain. So this is just what I do. Then I'm gonna bring the cut file back and I'm gonna remove adhesive from the center, a uh, couple squares of um, foam adhesive. I'm gonna remove a little bit of the sticky just by placing my finger over the foam adhesive. This just helps me get it placed down and if I don't get it exact, it's very easy to pull up. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna dr like drop it here and it's easy, I can pick it back up and kind of place it down where I want it going to get it positioned, push down really good, and then I'm gonna go through and just remove some of the adhesive um, backings to some of these, just like in the corners and in the middle. Um, it's the way that I scrap, it, it just helps things. If I were to remove all of those pieces, it would take forever, um, one. For two, if I don't get it down exactly where I want it, it's so much easier just to pull up a couple um, the cut file when it's only got two pieces of foam adhesive backing removed. Um, it's just what I do. So I'm just, I know that I want this yellow um, 12 by 12 border. I want to cut some of that up and add it to the back of my photo. I'll do that eventually, but right now I'm just going to kind of fuss with some of these cut files and try to decide where I want to place them. Um, I know the photo will go um, a little bit towards the bottom, off to the right, it's kind of like my go-to positioning for my photo. I'm um, not quite sure what die cuts that I want to use and what I want to do for a title. So I'm kind of just um, placing some different things down and playing around the die cuts, the chit chat pieces, and then some different odds and ends. Um, just playing around with the placement. There are some really cute um, sprinkle shakers in the uh, die cut pack. I know I want to use those. I did pull some cupcakes out that I want to try to use there were some floral pieces that I had left over from a previous layout and I thought maybe I would try to use those um, just some different things I did pull out some of the little word bubbles and I know for sure that I do want those on the layout as well so I'm gonna go ahead and get this photo stuck down so I'm gonna remove the backing to the foam adhesive and place this down and then get working on the die cuts and where I want them to go. So I want that cupcake there. I, that cupcake will eventually go there, um, but I'm gonna pull in um, the happy die cut and I'm gonna use that for my title and I'm gonna pop it up on some foam adhesive and I'm gonna double up the foam strips. Um, I'm just gonna place them along the bottom of the cut file. I have some really thin 
stripped adhesive from scrapbook adhesives by 3l and it works really nice just to place them along the bottom of this happy die cut and i'm going to double it up so it gives it nice dimension and it's a little higher than the dimension from my photo so the title kind of overlaps the photo at the bottom And these strips are really easy to work with and I really, really enjoy using them. They are great for making shakers as well, but um, I use them on my scrapbook layouts often. So I'm just gonna pull up um, one of the <clears throat> strips here, get it positioned where I want it, and then I'll remove the other two sides of adhesive. Now here is that cupcake. I'm also gonna add some foam strips behind this one to pop it up and place it here to the right of my photo. I kept the embellishment light on this layout and I normally do whenever I have a really colorful background like this where there's lots of pattern paper going on and lots of color. I try to keep the embellishments light, um, nothing too crazy. Um, I mean, there's quite a few embellishments going on, but there's nothing too crazy. Um, and it's, again, that's just my style and how I do it. Um, I'm going to add these two cute little shakers to the left of the photo, popped up on some foam adhesive. And then I'm going to add a word bubble that says sprinkled with love there to the left of the shakers. And I just think it looks really cute there. I love all of the color going on in this. I just think it's so much fun. And it's funny because I have a hard time using a pattern paper background for my layout, but I can add all of this color and all of these different patterns as long as they are backed on a cut file. I just can't do it as like one pattern paper as my background. Crazy. Um, but this, all these hearts, it just makes me so happy. And then it and then with it placed on a white background. <laughs> I know for some, it's hard to place on a white background and they really, really love the pattern, but for me, this makes me so happy. So I'm just going through and um, adding in some things or some tabs on the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Um, I did add that little yellow border to the top of my photo and got that stuck down. And then there's the two tabs that I pulled from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. One says sweet and one says love. And I'm going to add those to the top of my photo. So there's a little yellow detail back there and then the two tabs and I just really love the way that it looks. That little yellow just ties in the yellow from the hearts and then from the um, border of the, um, around the, around the layout. I have this little word sticker that says so happy together that also comes from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. I'm going to pop that on some foam adhesive and place that underneath the happy. And I just love the way that it looks right there underneath there. I did find another word bubble that says, hey, or hello, sugar. It's a white one with um, some aqua lettering. And I'm going to pop this up. I'm actually going to pop it up on two pieces of foam adhesive so it's double stacked and place it um, down here by the cupcake. And then I'm going to slip in a little sugar cookie with sprinkles behind the cupcake. And I'm going to also pop that up on some foam adhesive. I just felt like I needed something back there and that cute little face, I just could not resist it. It was just super cute, I just had to put it in there. Um, to finish it off, I'm gonna pull in some sprinkles and just kind of put a couple of them on the word bubbles and then down on the word strip that says so happy together. This just brings in another texture. I love the enamel dots, I love the feel of them. Um, I love just, just adding another little detail to my layout. So once I get those done, it is pretty much finished. The last thing I have to do is just add um, my journaling and this layout is done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this process video. Make sure to check out the Made With Love collection by Doodle Bug Design Designs and also check out the cutouts by Bella Boulevard. I have some still shots for you down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys all have a great day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.